Hey, what's up? It's Deanna. So I'm filming um, <laughs> on the old table that I found on the side of the road. It's actually serving its purpose. And this is another eBay unboxing. Let's get the knife out. So here's what appears to be. I got this actually uh, from a seller by the name of Manny from the Bronx. So <laughs> Manny from the Bronx. I like that. I'm from New York. So, all right. So we got um, what appears to be like a really old leather photo album that was like um, wallet sized almost. And it's like a book, but yet a wallet. So, oh, it opened up for me. <laughs> it's haunted. All right. So let's see what's inside. This looks about 1860s to about 1870s. And what's that say? Old? <laughs> I don't know. So it has an old, like, uh, price tag in there, $25 or something. I don't know why somebody did that, but I guess that was the price that Manny from the Bronx paid for it. So we, we have here um, probably an 1860s tintype. Really, really beautiful. Look at that. Look at her hair. Look at her dress. Very cool. Very, very cool indeed. And here's what appears to be an 1870s photograph and I can tell something's like falling out of here <laughs> um, an 1870s photograph and I can tell by the hairdo ladies started wearing bangs in the 1870s with a lot of curls and she's got like a beautiful beautiful dress this one looks about 1860s 1870s now this one the one on the left is definitely Civil War and I'll show you how I know. First of all, the dress is bell-shaped. So during around the eight, sometime during the 1860s, ladies wore very wide skirts, their hair parted down the center. And you see the bottom of this card has the gold, it has the gold border going around it. And you see how the bottoms of the card is square? Civil War, like around 1860s and before, the photographs were square on the bottom, you know, going around the border of it. To, during the 1870s, the, the tippy, tippy corners got rounded. And that's how you can date them. This looks like a tintype of an 1860s gentleman. Now I'll take some of these photographs out later and check them out, see what's written on the back. Okay, this one looks probably about 1860s, 1870s. Actually, nope, it's in 1860s. See how there's just a hint of roundness around the corner that is showing probably like a, a late like after the Civil War or just like around 1868 1869 time frame here's another one around the same time frame very interesting well look what we have here this is really cool this is an old tin type and this looks like 1870s or 1860s and I see a fringe chair Generally in the 1870s, you see a lot of the, of these uh, fringed chairs in photographs. Her hair looks like the 1870s, but then again, her clothes look like the 1860s. So it's probably sometime in that time frame. Let's see if what it says behind here. Very interesting. Hagerstown, Maryland. So it's a Maryland connection. There's another very old 1860s, 1870s photograph. This book is pretty toasty. Now, you see how these, um, the corners are rounded on this photo? That's telling me 1870s. And there's our fringe chair. These fringe chairs are in almost every photo. This looks like the 1870s, and I can tell by her hair. But if it's the 1870s, it's the very early, early 1870s. Like, just at the start. Very cool jewelry. Look at that. And I love her hairdo. I'm trying to go careful. I'm wearing gloves. I really don't like to handle these pictures because your finger oil from your hand can get on these photos and destroy them. This is a nice tin type from about the 1860s or 1870s. Here's another one. There's our fringe chair again. I, I want to get one of these fringe chairs. I have to find a nice antique one in good shape. And that looks around 1860s, 1870s. Probably more so the 1870s. 
And again, we have a nice, this is probably the 1860s. And the reason is, is because in, during the 1860s, a lot of photographs had a vignette and the person was more centralized in the center of the photo. And you don't see the whole photograph taken up with a photo. And his cheeks were tinted. And that was an extra service that people paid for. So it made the photo more expensive. That is a cool photo, probably from the 1870s. It's a tin type. That guy looks like a Frank Sinatra. I think he has a pinky ring on too. This is probably from the 18, late 1860s. As you can see, the skirt isn't as wide and bell-shaped, but it's still bell-shaped. Look at her cool jewelry. And again, we have that fringed chair. <laughs> it made its appearance again. This looks like the back of a tin type. I think we're coming to an end. Oh, wow. All right, this is really a great image. We have a stovepipe hat on the left. This is probably from the 1860s. And the guy's hat on the right looks like an maybe an engineer's cap or some kind of... I don't know, like, I don't know what you call those hats. Darn it. I wish I had a term for it. Very interesting. Really awesome. What's it say here? It says, I can't even read the first name. Shirley, maybe? Shirty? Shirty. Shirty? Handel, maybe? My camera does not want to focus. And I think now it says $95. Oh no, $25. Someone put a price tag in there. He probably got it at like some garage sale. <laughs> and last but not least, I found another one. I forgot about this. That's a haunting old photo. So this is a very cool and unique old photo album made out of leather that turns into a wallet. And I'm glad that you were able to watch it and share this moment with me. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and subscribe.